yourself ideas at home. I wanted to sh share with you guys what I'm going to do with this wall. This wall right here is on a staircase going up the steps. And if you notice, the wall has been messed, kind of bumpy here, and it's got all this rough edge here. Well, I'm going to take and do something a little bit different. I'm gonna, I went and bought some tissue paper, which is only a dollar at the dollar store. I'm going to just ball it up. And I've been doing this already, and I've already balled them up, and I'm throwing them down here on the floor. And I'm going to ball up this whole pack of tissue paper, and then I'll be back to show you the idea I'm going to do on this wall. So let me get this folded, done, balled up, and I'll be right back to give you some more ideas, okay? What I did with those pieces of paper that I balled up, it's not much simple tissue paper, white. I'm just unballing it now, and I'm not unballing it very, very flat. I'm just unballing it a little bit at a time. And then this is what I'm going to do. This is something that most people can do. If you want to, this, this idea is mostly to hide and cover something you don't want no one to see. So this is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paint. I picked like a, a paint that I had laying around the house, and I'm going to paint this wall. And you start up at the top and you just give it a nice paint just like this. And just watch what I do here because this is gonna we don't want it to dry either, so we're gonna and you wanna kind of roughly estimate the size of that piece of tissue paper that you have done. So it's almost gonna be like a glue. So you take the tissue paper and you're going to stick it right to that area starting at the top and don't press it down too flat because you want to still keep that effect of the crunchiness and you just push it down right on that like glue and then you get some more paint and you paint right over it and it gives it a different effect on the wall. See how the wall is changing the paper. You can do it with a roller too. I like the paintbrush effect more so because it's more drastic. It's more dramatic to me. And so I'm going to show you how to do the next one. The next one over and if you know you're going to take your wall and paint that over there it doesn't matter how you got that over there there you go you might rip it a little bit too if you put too much paint okay so now we're going to do another one and I'm going to show you how to make the next one come to this one paint. I love this idea because it's the, for me it's the best thing I did it in several rooms in my house and covers up a multitude of things. Again, make it come up to the next one. Just tap it with the crunchy everything all together and just do the same idea in the corner. And just tap it there. You want to keep that crunchy effect. Then paint again right over top. And then when you continue, you're going to do the same effect all over there. If you're going sideways, you do the same thing. If you're going this way, down. And all over the whole wall. So what I'm going to do here, and you can always go back over once it dries, just lightly. If you feel like you haven't gotten everything too good, you can always go back over it when it dries. Okay, so this is how this looks so far. Okay? So now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it this way. And then I'm going to give you another sample right here of how we're going to do this over here. Give you another sample again. Don't forget, paint your wall. Paint your wall first. 
And you don't have to be a perfectionist at the paint job because you're only going to paint over it anyway. Get your crunchy tissue paper. And you're going to just come up to that other area. Just so. Because it's so busy, no one's really going to pay attention to what's going on in the area. So don't worry about it. And then again, paint over it. And when you paint over it, it's rough. It gives it a nice rough effect. See there? Okay, so what I would do... And you can always take some tissue, some sponge, and give it another effect on the wall with color. Blend it in, make a little Italian kitchen, do anything you want. And what I'm going to do is finish this up. Okay, I will finish this up, and I will show you the effects of how it's going to look on this entire wall here. So I'll be back shortly. So if you look at the wall here again, we're going to show you the effects of how that's going to be done. We're just going to hide. Okay, I'll be back. When I'm done with this. Now we're covering up the part that was the worst part of this wall, and it's right up in here. So I'm gonna just continue painting, and we're gonna add some more of that tissue paper. And we're gonna see how this tissue paper is actually gonna cover up these all this scarring on this wall. I moved into this house some years ago, and this has always been here, and I've just never had a chance to get around to it. So I figure I'll do some new idea on this wall. So Again, as we told you, you get that tissue paper and you just put it up there and tap it in because this is your glue. This tissue paper and that paint is like your glue. I'm progressing so far. This is the wall with its flaws and then this is what I've done so far using the tissue paper so I'm gonna continue working on it and I'll be back to show you more of what we're doing here okay one here is I'm painting this wall as I showed you in a little earlier video earlier during this video and I'm taking this paper here if you notice and I'm just button it up to the seam of the former what I've already done and notice what I'm doing here just let's slide it over just a tiny bit because you don't want the paper to tear. This is um, tissue paper. Tissue paper will tear very easily. And then just tap it down and then take your paintbrush and go over it just like this. Just real quick wisping because it'll tear very easy. It'll give that effect. You don't want to tear it. And if you let it dry, you can always come back and paint over it. But it's just right now you just want it to stick to the wet paint that you put there. Okay? So I'll show you one more, and then I'll come back in a few. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm painting this area. Just painting that wall, making it my glue, as I mentioned in an earlier, a little earlier. Nothing perfect here, just painting. This wall is so messy. Okay, and then again, I am taking my tissue paper, and I'm using it as if it's a glue. And you butt it up to the former paper that you put there. And just work it in there, and, and then watch. And then go over it real quickly with the brush. Like, just like glue. And then make it stick. Don't crush it, don't do it too much because then it'll tear. It's very um, thin paper. Okay, so I will finish up this side uh, this wall and I'll be back very shortly to show you further how far we've gotten. Okay, be back shortly. Well, if you notice, if you look really, really closely, it looks like there's like little tiny squares in there. What I did with that is I took paint and went over the square where the other um, papers met 
and then kind of blended it in a little bit and it got rid of that squarish look. So I will continue on working at this and I will show you the final very shortly. I'm back and when I'm just going, this is the wall that we worked on and we tissue papered it with tissue paper and paint. We used our paint as our glue. And what I'm getting ready to do now is actually <clears throat> finish off the staircase. I took, I got this flexible molding. It's awesome. It's just flexible. It's a lot cheaper than trying to get wood. What I did was I scored it first with a, a knife. I, or you can use a, um, a sharp knife or a um, or a hacksaw and just score it. Because this is the end, I'm just going to just pop this piece right off because I just scored the end. It's kind of tough to do if you have to use your hands. And that's still going to fit. And so what I'm doing... And I already cut this part off already in advance. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to just line this up right along the stairs here to give it a clean finished look. And just hold it in place. And I've got some finishing nails. These are one and a half inch finishing nails. And what I'm going to do is just tack these right on in here. All I'm doing here is I'm going to actually just, I'm going to just put these finishing nails in here. And I'm going to continue this all the way up the rest of the staircase here just to give it just some kind of accent to have it look some decent, okay? And I'll be back shortly to show you the finish. So this is our finish. I added that piece of um, flexible molding. I tacked it in with some finish nails and um, finished. And this is the wall that we did with the tissue paper and paint. We painted the wall first, put the tissue paper, and the tissue paper and the paint was like a glue. So we just went over it with the paintbrush, and then we took and put, um, did the entire wall, we went all the way around here. So this is the, now, this is what our um, section now looks like. So if you like this video, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you much. This is Ferns. Fix it yourself at home. Bye. That's the finish.